Nine out of ten Americans support universal background checks. <laughs> Nine out of ten Americans support universal background checks. I, I've never heard that. Have you guys heard that? Let me know down below if you have, because I certainly have never heard of any survey where it says that nine out of ten Americans uh, want universal background checks. All right, guys, Code of Boy 32 here. Check it out. I've been on the road as of late, uh, about two days. So uh, I'm actually doing this video on my cell phone because I left my camera at the house. I'm going to try to do some review videos this week and uh, on some barrels, some optics, things like that. It's going to be kind of shoddy, but uh, anyway, we're going to, we got work to do. All right, so what are we talking about today? The Georgia runoff. And we're talking about John Ozoff and David Perdue. We're also talking about Raphael Warnock and Kelly Loeffler. We'll be talking about those two at a later time. But right now, I want to focus on John Ossoff. Now, this jackass comes to you live from Georgia, and he's running against David Perdue. And he has some specific thoughts on the Second Amendment, one being this. Listen up. Do you want to see a mandatory buyback? Look, I think that for semi-automatic weapons, whether they're rifles or handguns, we need strict licensing requirements. Nine out of ten Americans support universal background checks, and yet Congress, which is bought by the National Rifle Association, refuses to act. All right, so what this guy believes is a handgun, if it's semi-automatic, or a rifle, if it's semi-automatic. I guess it doesn't really matter how many rounds it holds or anything else. You know, the other things that the other Democrats are jumping on, he just references all semi-automatic pistols, and all semi-automatic rifles need to come with stringent licensing. Not quite sure I understand the fact that our Second Amendment requires a license. It's not a privilege, ladies and gentlemen. It is a right. It is a God-given right for you and me to be able to protect ourselves how we see fit with whatever we see fit. But this guy, he says you need a license. You need strict licensing. And moving forward, he says that you shouldn't be able to obtain it unless you have a specific need. Here we go. Watch this. And no, the general public should not be purchasing weapons that are derived from modern military technology, absent some specific need and high qualification. These are dangerous tools. They're not toys. Absent some specific need. So if you have a specific need, I guess he's trying to derive that from the guys up there in New Jersey. Uh, I guess, you know, you're not allowed to fire, have a firearm or have a CCW without some specific need or, or at least some threat of life. It's amazing to me that in constant, we are constantly being bombarded by the guys over there on the left that think that we have to have some specific need or we need to have some unique type of license in order to protect ourselves with a commonly owned firearm that is more popular than any firearm in our country. What blows me away, ladies and gentlemen, is the mere fact that these guys are such elitist. They don't talk with you. They don't converse with you. They are talking at you. They are talking from a stature from high above. They've lost their mere, they've lost the, the, the sense that they are part of the public as well, but they are now rulers to push their ideals onto you. And they brainwashed enough people to where the state of Georgia might damn near put these guys in place. Let's move on to a different subject. Here we go. So do, do you support a mandatory buyback of some of those weapons then? I don't know about a mandatory buyback. What I support is strict licensing for all semi-automatic weapons. I support universal background checks, and I think that assault weapons should not be available to the general public. So he is telling you what firearms you can and cannot hold. And this again, in the guise of your safety. Oh, we're going to go ahead and ban. Well, Jackass, let me ask you a question. What in the hell, uh, I've got a firearm. I have a so-called American sporting rifle, the most popular rifle in the United States. I guess you're not quite a Beto O'Rourke, but you're damn close to it. And with your vote, if you get into office, ladies and gentlemen, if this guy gets into office, our second amendment is at risk. Here's another interview that he had with this little young lady. And let's talk about this here real quickly. Here we go. What types of laws will you support to address gun violence? All right, so she asked a specific question. And in typical fashion, as a politician does, this is how he answers it, which is an amazing thing because, again, I don't recall the Supreme Court ever doing this. Stand by. Well, the Supreme Court has found that there uh are sensible gun safety policies that can be implemented. Okay, so here again, we talk about things like sensible. 
common sense. There's things that can be implemented that will, will protect you, the people. Guys, I'm sick and tired of being protected by the government. I've, I've never been able to rely on those jackasses in the past, and I'm sure shit not going to do it in the future. But when somebody says to me and they go, well, there's sensible things that we can do to implement that will protect the public. Common sense, sensible. These are items they use to pitch to you that for some reason, somebody down the road has found that these items are of good common sense or they're sensible. Sensible gun regulation. Hillary Clinton was big on this when she talked about no right is protected. Everything is regulated by common sense or sensible acts. No, ladies and gentlemen, my Second Amendment right is not subjected to anything that is sensible by a left-leaning individual. Here we go. Uh, I grew up with firearms in the household. I know how to safely operate firearms. I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. When somebody says that to me, they're trying to pitch a deal. I grew up with firearms. I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. But there's always that but the caveat at the end of the day to tell us, well, it's only good common sense that you people are not allowed to have these things. And if I'm elected, I'm going to join on with the other individuals who support a mandatory buyback plan or a mandatory registration of your so-called American sporting rifle. Guys, this is what these individuals stand for. And if this gentleman or this person wins down there, it's one step closer to the end of our Second Amendment. End of the video. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I get pretty fired up about stuff like this, ladies and gentlemen, because I cannot stand someone who sits there and talks down to me about what I'm allowed to do. It is controlling. It is about being in control. And that's what the Democrat Party is all about. They are not about helping anybody. They don't care. They're about being in control. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. It's Code Boy 32 If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. And I'm slowly gathering up a bunch of them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.